Hey kids and parents, welcome to day 18 of Excel Mini. This week we have learned some amazing true stories about some of the miracles that Jesus did while he was still here on earth. Yesterday we heard about how he fed over 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Wasn't that crazy? So what do you think's gonna happen in today's Bible story? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's watch and listen closely to today's true Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus heals a man born blind. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone! One day, Jesus was walking with his disciples, and he saw a man who was born blind. Hey, Jesus! His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. The man's neighbors and others who knew him as a blind man wondered if this was the same man. Is that the same guy? No way. They said, no, he just looks like him. It's me. No, it can't be. But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me. So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. Well, that's what happened. The people asked, where is Jesus now? But the man didn't know. I'm not here. So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. Eh, what's going on? And he answered them, I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions, they even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened, oh, hey there. and he found the man and asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. Wow! Yes, Lord, I believe, and he worshipped Jesus. So one day, Jesus and his disciples walked past a man who was blind. Do you remember what it means when you're blind? That's right, it means your eyes can't see. Well, the disciples were asking Jesus, like, what happened? Why is this guy blind? Jesus told him that it wasn't because anyone had sinned or done anything wrong. It was so that his power could be displayed through the man's life. Jesus went near the man and he spit into the dirt and mixed it together and made mud. And he put it over the man's eyes and he told him to go wash himself at the pool of Siloam. So the blind man got up with the mud on his eyes, went to the pool, and washed himself. And when he washed off his face, he could see. He was no longer blind. Isn't that incredible? The people that knew this man saw him and were like, wait a second, he used to be blind, didn't he? Is that the same guy? And he was like, yep, that's me. They were thinking, that's impossible. You were blind the last time we saw you. And they took him to the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the religious leaders and they had lots and lots of rules. Well, they asked the man about what had gone on and even questioned his parents. 
Finally, the man had had enough. He spoke back firmly to the Pharisees and told them what had happened. Well, that made the Pharisees so angry, so they kicked him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard about this interaction and he came to the man. He explained to him who he was and asked if he believed in him. And the man said that he did in fact believe that Jesus is the Son of God and he worshiped Jesus. Isn't that amazing? Jesus did a miracle by making a blind man able to see. It was incredible. Jesus can do anything. And that is exactly what our verse this week helps us remember too. Let's practice it. I know you know it. You've been doing it several days now. Ready? We're gonna say, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. Now it's time to open your Bibles to John chapter nine and read verses one to 12. Then do you know what time it is? That's right, it's activity time. For your first activity, you need a bunch of small items from around the house. We want your parents to collect these without you seeing or knowing what they are. You also need some aluminum foil. For your second activity, you need a blindfold and then gather everyone together on the couch. Let's get to it. Read your Bible story, do your two activities, practice your verse, and don't forget to pray and talk to Jesus. I can't wait to hear how it goes. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.